Divine Methodology with Meditation and Spiritual Work is how can every individual who is doing the meditation that aligns somebody in their nervous system and in their posture to feel safe and to feel that the structure they own is mighty and and capable of surviving instead of just peace as well. Because to really attain peace, you want to have all the components. And so a major component is, am I safe where I am? Am I magnetic? And is my antenna up to make sure that I go to the destinations that I'm safe where I am? Do I know how to attract my people? So I do ancestor work with that. So um, one of my favorite authors and philosophers is Sabonfu Sonme. So I was going to read something and then we can all meditate through what we heard and maybe you can discuss it with each other based on what you heard. Does that land with y'all? I'm going to put you in gallery so I can see head knobs and stuff. Good. They should let the names wiggle when people agree or disagree. Oh, I love that idea. (laughs) Wiggle, wiggle. So this is from The Secrets of Intimacy, which is a um, half autobiography autobiographical experience from Sabonfu. It's a really short read. It's less than 198 pages. I'm not reading that now. I mean the book. (laughs) Intimacy in general terms is a song of spirit inviting two people to come and share their spirit together. It is a song that no one can resist. We hear it while awake or sleeping, in community or alone. We cannot ignore it. Two people come together because spirit wants them together. In my practice, if I were to work with a class or a person privately, I always say our ancestors vetted us for this meeting. I was vetted in the day, you were vetted in the day. We cannot come together if if we're not gonna bring something good. It was already taken care of. So the idea is when you connect to those cellular memories in your body that allow you to feel safe, and you're meeting a new person that you don't have evidence of, that you're gonna have a good time with them, the only thing you can do is trust your inner atmosphere, your inner atmosphere. So hearing what you heard and having the freedom to paraphrase it where you're comfortable, I'm just gonna ask that you kind of lean back, you sit up and take your palms onto your chest plates so that your elbows kind of, I don't wanna be a chicken, I don't wanna be a duck, so that. But it's so that the lats can express, the diaphragm can express. What happens with the inner ear when we want to have conversation or be present to conversation is it needs to drop so that the spiral influences the free ventilative breath aspect of the side ribs and the diaphragm. Get as full as it can. So breathe in such a way that the lats spread, the side lungs lift, and with the elbows out, you're trying to make your presence as wide as the elbows are out. Then gently bring the weight of the arms in, but keep the presence thick. You'll know you're doing it right because the forehead, the face muscles keep breathing, are getting a little light. The dome of the skull and the hook of the rear ribs are feeling like a hot air balloon. And there's an experience of depth within the inner ears. Consider that the inner ears are a valve, something that can be turned in any direction to make warm or cool, like water in a tub. Every inhale, let cool water fill up the chest. And consider that water is more like psychic wisdom instead of the ocean or a river. In my aunt's tradition, we would call that ashe. The ashe is not just a term, it is a quality of energy like prana, like chi, is cultivated. I just want you to wade in the cultivation of your heart's wisdom. And we'll do this last part for our last minute in silence.
Now gently begin to imagine that the depth of your hearing exists along the sides of your lungs, as if you were a creature of the ocean who hears and senses safety through their gills. Every inhale is an opportunity to be surprised by how perfectly aligned being present here is. Every exhale is confirmation and it allows your organs, your nerves, your joints to dance when the right things are said, when synchronicity is materialized, kind of like an inner body braille. Very gently take the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth when you breathe in. Let out a roar. Ah! 